Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In just a minute, I'm going to be teaching a lesson that I actually teach in my real classes. Like, I'm not just an art teacher here online, but I actually teach classes with students, people, like face to face. And I thought it would be fun to share some of these classes with you guys. Another fun thing that I want to share with you is the actual lesson plan that I made up for myself, including the handouts and things that I give to my students. So if you're interested in picking up this 10 page lesson plan and finding out what's inside, then make sure to watch all the way through this video because I'll talk a little bit more in depth about what this is, how to use it, and give you a sneak peek at what's inside. Okay, let's go draw. Hey everybody, welcome back to Art a la carte, and today is a tutorial video! Woohoo! So step number one is to sketch out some ideas, and one thing I like to do is just get some computer paper and a pencil, because sometimes sketching in my sketchbook can make me feel a little bit nervous. So using just some scratch paper to do some sketches to get my ideas out, then I can go ahead and transfer that over onto a nicer piece of paper. Some of the techniques that I'm going to be using I've already covered in previous videos. So if you want to take a peek at those, I have this one, which is how to draw a wolf pup. And I think that would be helpful. And there's also this playlist of how to draw cute things. And so any of these, if you need additional information, you might find helpful. Also, before we jump into this, if you're brand new to my channel and like to hit the subscribe button right here, plus ring the notification bell, that way you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video. First thing I'm gonna do is build in my base. And so for this, I'm gonna be using some really simple shapes, like a circle, maybe a square or even triangles, or just a fun little squiggly line. Now, none of these shapes have to be perfect. If you draw your circle and it comes out looking more like a lima bean or the map of Guam, that's okay, don't get frustrated. I find that when I draw my circles, because circles can be the hardest out of all the shapes to draw, um, that going around it a couple different times and drawing with the whole hand, don't just draw with just your fingers, but draw with your whole hand can really help loosen that up. All right, now that we've got some kind of warmed up little movements over here, let's go ahead and begin to build our little creature, our little dragon. I'm gonna start with a circle shape for the head. And just a little tip, if you wanna make things look a little bit cuter, give them a larger head than what you might normally give them, bumps up that cue factor. Whereas if you want to have something a little bit more scary or serious, you would make your head a little bit smaller. And now I'm gonna put in the body. Now I want this to have kind of like a cat base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another little circle, about half the size of this one, right underneath that. Now you'll see I'm overlapping these two circles a little bit. That makes them look a little bit more connected. So this is gonna be the chest of our little cat dragon. And then I'm gonna have my cat sitting. So he's looking straight at me, here's his chest, and then I'm gonna put in his little body. And this, this circle here is, is about the same size as this one, only I've squished it down. Looks like it got sat on. <laughs> and this is his little rump right here. Now you'll see if I draw a straight line straight through here, you'll see that's right directly between this circle and pretty even with this circle, but this one's over to the side a little bit. That's because I'm gonna have him sitting at a three quarter angle. If you want him looking directly at you, you would have this circle exactly even on both sides. Right here is the center of my circle, but again, remember how I said, if you want something to look a little bit cuter, you're going to bump up the head. We also wanna make the forehead a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna come down just a little bit and draw a really light line. This is my guideline and I want to draw it lightly. That way, if I need to erase something, then it's easy to erase those marks. If you push really hard with your pencil, you're gonna find that when you go to erase it, that line doesn't wanna come up as much and that can be kind of frustrating. So really lightly, just delicately put in your guidelines. Now I'm gonna use this circle shape again and I'm gonna put in some eyes here and I'm just going to block in an eye right there and an eye right there. I can change the shapes a little bit later. I'm just kind of letting myself know where that's gonna be. Now, right here in between, I'm gonna come down just a little bit. I'm gonna put in a little tiny circle for his mouth. He's kind of looking like a bunny right now. I don't know, at this point, he could be anything. He could be a cat, a bunny, a mouse, a dog, a raccoon, a squirrel, 
a pig. You could just by adding different details, you could change this into anything. So that's that's why this is so fabulous for making a fun little creature because adding your own personal little touches to this can really change things around. Now I'm going to give him a little mouth. It's like a little flattened W shape right there. Definitely looking like a bunny. Now that we have his face blocked in, let's go ahead and block in his front legs. So here again, this is his chest area. I'm going to come down along here, just follow that line around and then bring it down as for one of his legs and the same thing over on the side. Bring that down and around just like that. Now you have to decide, do you want to give him really thin legs or thick legs or medium legs? Or you could totally come up with a different creature. Like maybe you're going to make this a cat, but you want to give him um, hawk legs or eagle legs. Well, I guess they'd be talons. But you could decide that. I'm going to go ahead and just give him regular little legs that are a little bit thicker. So I'm going to, here's his chest right here. So I'm going to just bring this out right like that. And right like that. There's his two little legs. So I thickened them up a little bit. I'm going to round them off on the bottom and I'll finish up some details on that in just a minute. And then I'm, I'm going to smooth this line up. See how it comes in really fast here and then go, I don't want that. So I'm going to just smooth that up just like that, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put in his back leg. So he's sitting down. So his legs are kind of tucked in underneath him. And you would just see maybe a little bit of his back foot sticking out from underneath him. So I'm going to put this little flattened circle there. A little flattened circle right over there. See how it's overlapping? Again, anytime you can overlap something, it's going to connect your drawing together a little bit more. So we have our base in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin adding in some fun details. So at this point, I could add in horns if I wanted to. I could add in some scales. I'm going to go ahead and add in my little cat dragon needs some ears. So I'm going to put in some rounded triangles. Oh, he's looking like a cat. Not looking like a dragon. Hang on, we're getting there. So again, if you want to draw a cute kitten, this could totally be your cute kitten base. But instead of having them just kind of straight down, I want to make his ears like little wings. So I'm going to make little bumpy lines that come all the way down like this. And it makes him look like he has little feathers in the backs of his wings. I mean ears. I can talk and draw at the same time. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have like the ear kind of fold around, so I'm gonna bring this part up just like that. So you can see the ear folding around and this is kind of the inside of the ear. All right, let's look at his little face here and kind of design how I want this to go. So I'm going to bring down the sides a little bit. Got a little tufts of fur over here. I'm going to work on his eyes next. So I'm going to give him really thick top eyelids and I'm going to change his eye shape into more of a lemon shape. So I'm going to have a point here and a point here. So lemon is like a circle with two points. I'm going to give a point here and a point here. So I have that and then I'm just going to bring that down. But I'm not really going to draw on the bottom line too much. So again a point here and a point here and I'm going to wrap that eyelid around and I'm going to thicken that top lid up there. Now I'm going to put in his pupils. Now, normally we would add circles for the pupils, but because this is a dragon, but you could add any shape you want. You could add diamonds or hearts or squares or slits. I'm going to go ahead and add in kind of a diamond shape. I'm feeling diamonds right there. So there's his face all done. Now let's go ahead and add in his tail and his wings. So for his tail, I'm going to bring out a line right at the bottom here where his tail is kind of coming out. Now you could make it just like a regular cat tail and kind of just thicken that out. Or you could add some fun to it and add, you know, spikes to it. Or maybe it has some feathers on the end. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to give him feathers for the end of his tail here. And again, see I'm overlapping that just a little bit over top of his little paw there. At any time during this tutorial or drawing, if I go too fast for you, remember to hit that pause button. That way I'll stop teaching and you can catch up. Or you can always back the video up and watch from the beginning or from a place that you're already at. So don't worry about that. Now let's give him his wings. So we could give him bat wings. We could give him bird wings. Now if you need to, you can draw the whole thing, but just draw really lightly and then you can erase it. 
So I'm going to have this kind of S curve kind of come up from his shoulders up and down, just like that. And then at the bottom, I'm going to, just like I did here, I'm going to go some little bumpy lines right there. And again, this one kind of comes up, so I'm not seeing it, so I'm going to visible line and bring this down. There we go. Let's do some fun to his little face. I'm going to add some kind of feather eyebrows right here, just to give him a little bit more distinction so we're not thinking he looks like an angel cat. I want him to to be a little bit more dragon-like. So maybe we'll give little tiny horns right up here. Just these kind of like little U shapes there. You can put one horn in the middle, make it a unicorn dragon bird cat. Whew, that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna put some little tufts of feathers on there so it looks like it's kind of growing out there. If you draw your own little dragon creature, I would love to see it. So if you post it on social media, you can tag me in your photo. I'll have links to all of my social media in the description box below. What I'm going to do now is take my design character and create a little bit of a finished piece. I'm going to do this in a super fast time lapse so it doesn't end up being a two hour long video. But while you're watching the sped up creation, I want to talk about my downloadable lesson plan. I've been teaching art to people of all ages and skill levels for probably going close to 15 years, maybe even more. Hmm. And over these years of teaching, I have collected several key lesson plans that I tend to teach in group classes. Recently, I've received interest in sharing these ideas with other people, either who are wanting to teach themselves art or maybe that are teachers at schools and need lesson plans so that they can add fun art to their class. So this is a little bit of a test run. I went ahead and fixed up all of my notes that I have and made it into a little art lesson packet. Now, of course, you don't need this packet to do this lesson, but if you want any of the supplementary information and worksheets, then you might find this super helpful. Inside this packet, there are several pages of illustrated notes on how to go through the steps of this video tutorial, along with other information on adding details and things to make your creature uniquely yours. Probably two of my favorite pages in this lesson plan is my personal sketchbook page. I love looking at artist sketchbooks and seeing how they create and design things. So I went ahead and took a collection of my sketches as I was kind of working out this character design or creature design and put them together so you have a, a collection of my sketches. The other one is the collaboration page. When two people work together to create one piece of art, some fantastic things can happen. So I have a page where I've done part of the artwork and there's a part for you to do. So if you're interested in getting your own 10 page lesson plan, I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can get all the information on picking up this lesson plan for yourself. You can either use it privately for yourself or if you are a teacher, feel free to make as many copies as you need to hand out to your students. Anyway, let's get back to this lesson so I can give you a few last minute tips on creating a very cool cat dragon thing. The more you practice at drawing something like this, the easier it's going to become. But don't let yourself just stay drawing the same thing over and over. Try to change it up a little bit, change the positions or some of the details, and that'll give you a little bit more variety in your drawings. You guys, I had so much fun drawing with you and creating this fun little cute dragon cat thing. <laughs> if you know someone who enjoys art or drawing, feel free to share this video with them. My last question for you is, what else would you like to learn how to draw? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for drawing with me, and as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye!